Oh my god, I sh I didn't know you could shoot them out of their friggin' shells. Holy shit. <laughs> That's amazing. Oh man, I did not know that could happen. Oh, that's awesome. Oh, look at the little babies down here. I think. No, those are turrets. Eh, might as well take... Might as well take that mate. So usually Piper, or any companion, just kind of teleports down, but I guess... No. That's what's happening now. Oh, there you are. Rad roaches. Oh, no, turrets. fall we're gonna sink to the bottom probably can't make that jump yes Hey, buddy. I'm gonna start a Myrler business and just sell all the meat I've gotten. I'll be rich, I tell you, rich. Hello. Sure. This is just that door that we were in. Sure, right? Oh! No, Piper, it's a giant. Holy shit! Was that you? Flashlight, Piper. On your head. Excellent. Excellent, dude. Oh, awesome. You're not able to build patio furniture. Huh. I didn't know there was unlockable. Oh, that's awesome. This probably cont controls all the turrets now that we've blown. Yep. Of course it does. Activate. It's probably because they're all blown up. Units connected, 10. Activate. Might deactivate. Does only activate? Oh, crap. Nope. I'm just gonna sell. That's why I'm picking everything up. 
because I have been running out of, uh, I think it's 308, yeah, whatever this ammunition is, because I use this gun so much, because it's friggin' OP. Just murders anything. I've gotten a pretty good amount of shotgun shells, though, so that's why we're kind of switching. Really? Okay. Interesting. Um, <gasps> that one in particular I didn't like. Slog is under attack? What the fuck? Maybe they should... I don't fucking know. Defend themselves? Oh. Good job, Piper. The Slog has so much defensive... Oh my god. Alright, let's... I guess we're gonna go to the Slog after this. Even though there's an inordinate amount of freaking... There's so many fucking turrets there. Understand how it's being attacked. Going up. There are missile launchers at the slog. I just real. I have two missile launchers. Oh look! Jesus Christ! Ah! Oh my! Why am I here? I think the missile launchers did their fucking job. I'm gonna accidentally destroy this fucking place. Holy shit! Everyone, just chill out. I got this. Sir? Ma'am? Damn it. Ooh. Is that what you all needed me for? Unbelievable. Nervy, you dickheads. Oh, God! Jesus, man, somebody wanted a hug. Where are they? Okay, okay, calm down. Yeah, here, you damn whores! Settler, we got this. Are we good and clear? Can we get rid of these 
No, these trees are like beyond the, uh, aren't they? Yeah, these stupid trees are a pain in the ass. I wish we could destroy these trees. Power is six. What do you need power for? What happened? You only need power for this. Is it broken? Produces three, requires two. Did one of the missile launchers get blown up? Probably. Yeah, this got, this got damaged. Nope. Nope. I don't have rubber or ceramics. This will just be a replacement for the time being. Alright. Let's go. Back to Supervisor White. Darling, so good to see you. You fixed our water problem, didn't you? Mm-hmm. I made it rain. Yes, ma'am. Oh, such a gentleman, too. I simply must give you something. Here, you can have some of our produce. I'll ask Greeny to give you a discount, too, if there's anything else you need. Now I simply must get back to work. Ta-ta! Yay! Nice. Alright, so now I can also, I guess, make a settlement here. Wow, she gave me a good Lovely amount. Lovely weather, what? You helped us in our most desperate hour, and for that, I salute you, sir. Jolly good to see you. Okay, brown, green, where's green? If you're looking to trade, then let's make a deal! <laughs> Green. Green's the name, and trading's the game. Ready to bargain in the garden? <laughs> you sound like a game show host. That's the correct answer! Well done! Ladies and gentlemen, should we tell the lucky contestant what fabulous prize he's won? Uh, sure. Okay. Right this way, please. Let's take a look at your fabulous prize. What I get? I get some melon. Oh! Is it? Is it the car? Is that what it was? Is it over here? Oh. Supervisor Green. It's a brand new car! <laughs> wow! Now, if you've already got the latest in sleek, stylish, atomic-powered automation, you can also take your winnings in the form of a cash prize! How does 100 caps sound? Those are my only choices. You are one tough customer, I don't mind telling you. So, what'll it be? I'll take the cash prize. Here you go! And if you want to use your winnings to make a few purchases from Robco, we certainly won't complain. Ha <laughs> ha! Well, it's been a real pleasure. Thanks for playing! Yeah. No defense. Do I have... I want to keep... Alright, I don't have enough foil or anything. I can build a magical spotlight. All right. Ain't got no oil. That's some wood. Here we go. Here we go. Get. Oh, I can't duck. Okay. There's gotta be oil around here. Just need one thing of oil. Has anyone seen any oil? It's laying around. Ooh, fertilizer. You know what? Okay. So what did I say? Alright, so we're going to check out the vault. And then I also did want to... Since we did get that fertilizer, I do want to go to 81. And give the doctor... Um, 
whatchamacallit, the fertilizer, she wanted it. So let's start, let's start from the church and head northeast. So the church is just filled with ghouls that killed them all, and then that was it. By going to this vault, by going to 95 from the south, we are able to look over them. There's a little precipice. I believe that's the correct term. Precipice. Press, 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 press. So, it is unfortunate that it's all gunner people. I don't know if there's anyone left inside. The gunners might just be people that are waiting outside, but we'll find out. The only thing with the... What? What the... Sentient ass kicking life. So I am hoping. Alert level Bravo. I am hoping that these gunners just haven't been able to get inside. I'm hoping it's not just a vault filled with gunners. Are you just down there, Piper? God. Good job, Piper. Now you're dead. Probably help if you didn't have, you know, if you had anything better than a 10 millimeter pistol. Fee fi fo fum. I've got a super powerful gun. Okay, that's why I've murdered everyone. I'm so out of my league. If we're gonna dance, let's dance. I wonder if this is normal for other journalists. Yes. Hmm. Maybe this is... is this open? Son of a bitch. Okay, Piper, just... Go on in, I guess. Crap, this is probably just gunners. Come on! Mr. Gutsy. What? Blue, we're not alone here. Who's there?
Fuck, you know that? Nice. I got one of your friend's rifles. I have 2,000 bullets for it. Lou, come on. Let me carry something before you cripple yourself. No, I'm carrying. I don't need help. I don't need any help. Okay, maybe you should take some stuff. Heads up. What? There you go. You say the word. A thousand times better. Be a little bit more selective about what I pick up, because we are gonna get way over encumbered. Couldn't part with anything. No. Could they? Hey. The radio, just shut up. Cover me, I'm gonna cook food. Cover me, I'm taking this corn. My god. <laughs> Am I gonna level up? I'm gonna level up from all of this cooking. Just like making daggers in Skyrim. Oh man, I really want to level up from cooking. That would've been hilarious. <laughs> Jeez. Let's get rid of these rats. Hopefully we'll be able to figure out what this vault was for. I'm sure there'll be a few terminals we can look into. shoot all those, but okay. What is that rumbling? Piper idolizes you. Blue, you got a minute? We're, uh, uh, sure. As long as no one starts blowing out of here. Come down here. Let's talk face to face. Power armor to power armor. Oh, we don't fall. Wait, let me get out of my armor. This is very important. No, 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 walk away from me. Look alive. What you got for me? Hey, Piper. So, you found a minute for me yet? Sure. Something up? Well, yeah, but it's nothing bad. Just what you said about Nat. I've been going over it again and again in my head, and what you said was right. Family's too precious. What kind of life is she going to have if I never go near her again? It's just... Sometimes it feels like the only things I've got in life are Nat and the paper. Having someone I can count on, someone like you, it's meant a lot to me. Not a lot of people want to hang around with the nosy reporter. Yeah, but you're my kind of nosy. <laughs> you're the exception. I haven't exactly made a lot of friends in this career. I just wanted to write the things I thought were wrong. When Nat and I first got to Diamond City, there was a lot of wrong. Crooked guards, lousy infrastructure. <laughs> there was a hole in the exterior wall that was patched over with a bookcase. One bookcase. That's it. I started the paper more as an act of desperation than anything else. It turned out I wasn't the only one who wanted things to change. After the first couple of editions, people may not have agreed with what I said, but everyone was listening. 
Sounds like you really cleaned up Diamond City. Well, a lot of things got done. They even put a second bookshelf over that hole. And patched it with bricks. When that first edition hit the stands, I felt like I'd finally done something worth doing. But afterwards, things... Things changed. People didn't want to talk the way they used to. It seemed that overnight I'd gone from being Piper, friend and confidant, to Piper, the nosy snoop. A lot of folks, they haven't treated me the same since. I started to feel like the only person I could count on was my little sis. You can count on me, Piper. I know I can. You're not afraid of me like everyone else. I was sure that the paper would be the best thing I ever did in my life, but... Being here with you now... Now I don't know. I've needed someone like you in my life for a long time, Blue. I just never expected I'd actually get them. So thank you. For being the friend I can count on. Bow chicka bow bow and an underground vault. It sounds to me like... You're interested in becoming more than just friends. Oh, I... I mean... <laughs> well, I'd be lying if I said I never thought about you that way. Not that I'm always thinking that way. It's just... Blue. <laughs> I'm loud and pushy and constantly getting in over my head. Why would someone like you ever want someone like me? Let's push these two pieces of power armor together till we start a nuclear bomb explosion or something. I don't know. Seen the worst already. <laughs> Is it so hard to believe that someone could fall for you? Well, no, no, but I don't exactly feel like you've seen me at my best thus far, Blue. I mean, how many relationships established in a hail of gunfire actually work out? 98. Do you really want to end up with someone like me? Percent. You don't need to be flawless, Piper. You're perfect for me. Perfect, huh? <laughs> that's, uh, that's a new one. Well, hmm. Well, I think you're perfect, too. <laughs> Goodness, Blue, I... I don't know what to say. You're everything I could ever ask for. Come on. Let's not keep the world waiting. Having reached the highest level of Fenny with Piper, you have gained the Gift of Gab perk. Lovable. What does that mean? Thanks to your relationship with Piper, you received double XP for speech challenges. Ooh. Sleeping while you have romantic night, Tamerly grants you the lover's embrace perk. 